Felix here from Stride. Today we're all the way out in Western Sydney in St. Mary's. Today we have joining us Chris from Harcourts. Absolute pleasure. <coughs> um, look, as buyers agents, we were buying out in St. Mary's for over the last five years, capitalising on investments where we're looking at 5% plus, ret plus returns. Chris, what's yeah. happening in today in, in this market out here today? I know that obviously the market slowed down where investors, but what are you seeing out this way in Western Sydney now? So out this way, I mean, majority of my buyers are first home buyers, but investor, it's probably the best time for investors to come into the market in St. Mary's, Colleton way, yeah. because with the, uh, with the prices, I mean, in some suburbs they've dropped about 100 grand. Wow. And uh, you're easily able to pick up a nice brick, three bedroom home in good locations, close to train stations yeah. and all the other facilities, especially all the stuff that's coming into St. Mary's. Yeah. But those are still selling for five, five fifty. Wow. Okay. So if you're able to do a granny flow or something like that, that's another extra income for hundred, hundred twenty thousand yeah. dollars. So what are, I guess what are we looking at in terms from an investor's point of view? Yeah. Because I know when we're looking at a lot of investors are looking at five plus percent returns. Yeah. Are you seeing those type of returns still achieved out this way with the price reductions? Definitely. So I'll give you an example. I've got one on the market currently. It's in a Colleton, which yeah. is just around the corner from St. Mary's. Yeah. So you're still a couple of minutes away from train stations, uni, stuff like that. That one's on the market, 730 to 780. Okay. And rent to return, we're looking, it's roughly around the 800 mark. Yeah. So over 5%. So yeah, yeah. okay. Because look, I, I get this question asked a lot of time and a lot of buyers are kind of wondering, can you still get a good return in Sydney? And you know, are you, is the five percent still achievable? And a lot of buyers actually go to Queensland or Melbourne yeah. for those particular reasons. But I guess from what we're hearing today is that yeah. you can still achieve the five percent returns, and still within an area where it's close to public transport. You know, it's got good facilities and infrastructure. Yeah. I mean, St Mary's being an area where it's been earmarked as one of the main hubs for the new exactly. uh, Badger Creek Airport. Yeah. Um, you also mentioned first home buyers are dominating this market. Yeah. For a first home buyer looking to purchase, is there any advice or tip that you could give them when kind of looking for a property in this area? Yep, yeah. so some tips I can give you is uh, buy something that's close to facilities. Yeah. So uh, suburbs like Colleton, St. Mary's, not St. Mary's, yeah. which, are, which are sister suburbs to suburbs like St. Clair, yeah. where average sale price is around the seven to 800 mark. Yeah but just pretty much right across the road, you're purchasing around five to 550 mile for similar homes. Yeah. And your money is safe because okay. of all the infrastructure that's happening. Yeah. You're right in the middle of all of it. So yeah, yeah it's a good spillover suburb. So obviously people who don't know, St. Clair's obviously one of the more premium suburbs out west and you know, Colleton being a, a neighboring suburb, it's considered like a spillover where people would, yeah. would buy in there because they're being priced out and you're seeing good value out there, obviously. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, okay, and I guess, are there any specific, not just pockets, but characteristics of a house a first home buyer should consider when they're actually going through and trying to understand if this is you know, a right opportunity for them? Yeah, so looking at, looking when you're looking at purchasing your first home, I think the biggest things that I'm advising a lot of buyers that I'm dealing with at the moment yeah. is, uh, if you've got two homes, one where it's slightly smaller, three bedroom, compared to one that's uh, slightly bigger, four yeah. bedroom, similar price range. I generally tell buyers to go for the bigger one yeah. because late, uh, future value for the home will be a lot stronger in something yes. a four better and you can always you know, take your time. If the money's not there for you to renovate straight away, yeah. you can always do stuff like that later on. Yeah. But brick veneer is always, always a good idea. And if you're able to pick something up on yeah. a corner block, yeah. That's also fantastic because if you're able to do a granny flat with a yeah. separate excess, those are generally worth a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. And that's funny you mentioned that because I remember growing up, everyone hated a corner block because they had the, the dual frontage and people worried yeah. from a security point of view. But, <laughs> but now everyone wants a corner block because of that, that dual access and the capability of putting another secondary dwelling, which is going to give you that extra frontage, exactly. which is obviously segregated. Um, okay, cool. So I guess you know, if I was coming out here and I was looking to buy and I had a budget of say 650, which is what most first homeowners would have, yeah. are there any other suburbs or areas that you could pinpoint us to kind of get going? So if, if a first home buyer is watching this, I'll know exactly okay, where I should be going. Yeah. So if a first home buyer is looking to move into something quite, uh, quite new, something between five to 10 years old, yeah. 
but they still got the budget of the 6650 mark. Another great suburb, which is only a couple minutes away from St. Mary's, which yep. is Ropes Crossing. Oh, nice, yeah. A new suburb, so medium home prices have dropped about 80 to 100 grand over the last 12 months. Yep. So now you're able to pick up a five, six, seven year home for somewhere around six. Yeah. All the way down to 580 for a three bedroom single garage on about 350 square meter block. Yeah, so that, that's really good because I mean, obviously a lot of first home buyers, they want something fairly new, exactly, yeah. close to all amenities, and then it's gonna fit within their budget. So they're gonna capitalize on not only first home owners grant, yeah. but also the stamp duty. So Chris, the other question I always ask at the end is, you know, where do I go for a good coffee amount here in St. Mary's? Yeah. I know you mentioned you're not a coffee drinker, but what else could we drink around here? <laughs> Honestly, I mean, the coffee's all good in uh, Queen Street, St. Mary's. I think there's a couple of cafes. Yeah. All, I, I don't generally drink coffee, but when I do, most of them are pretty good. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, fantastic. Well, look, pleasure speaking to you today, Very nice Chris. meeting you. Really love meeting you. Hey, everyone, look, I think that's been really handy and really useful for us to understand a bit more about what's happening in Western Sydney. Obviously, prices have come back, but there's still good opportunities from a yield point of view. You still capitalize on getting 5% yield, but also for a first home buyer looking to enter this market, yeah. as Chris mentioned, you can still get stuff five to seven years old at Robes Crossing, which is gonna fit well within your budget. Yeah. I'm gonna leave Chris's details below, so if you've got any more information about the era, definitely reach out to him. He's gonna be able to help you because he's yeah. also an expert in this space. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you.